mobile applications that continue to work even if there is no network are called offline mobile applications. In such apps, data is stored temporarily on the device itself and later on when the network is back, for example, the data is synchronized back to the server. In this video, I will show you how one can make offline mobile applications faster with our system. So this is my service studio. I have a mobile application. What I'm going to do next is build an application for users to report issues. So for that, I'll switch to data side and create an entity called issue. This may have attributes like picture of the issue, date time, and maybe description. And likewise, uh, for your real application, you can create as many entities as you want. Now, what is important is with our systems, the mobile applications also have a local storage. This pretty much works the same way as on the server storage. You can create entities and attributes. The, if you already have some tables on server side and if you want to convert them into something that supports offline, you can also just copy these entities from server side and paste them on the local storage. Uh, platform also allows to pick and choose which entities and which attributes you want to make offline. In my case, let's say I want to make everything offline. By the way, do uh, do do go through these links which are there. It gives you best practices around how to create lightweight offline synchronizations. So with this, I have a issue table on my local storage as well. Now this allows me to store data locally. What also is important for these kind of use cases is to create a synchronization between the local and the server. You may want to create from one way to the other or from local to the server. With our systems, even that is made easier. You just right click on the local entity and choose one of these following actions. One allows you to create a read only kind of synchronization. And the second one allows you to create a read and write both. Let me choose the second one. So with this, a bunch of client and server actions get created under logic tab. These are here, basically reading stuff, deleting stuff, creating them again and synchronizations. There are a few important uh, actions that you need to remember. One is the offline data synchronization. This is the one that allows you to synchronize uh, the configurations. The configuration for synchronizations, I mean. So it can be based on online, when the user comes back online, when he logs in again, when he resumes, or how fast he should keep on retrying. To set these up, you just have to turn on these parameters to true. And depending on that, the condition is set. In my case, I'm going to do it manually. So the synchronization is triggered manually so you understand the concept. A bunch of other uh, client actions and server actions are also here. Feel free to explore them. But what is more important is the sync local issues. In my case, I want to create the issues locally in the device. And when somebody clicks on a button, maybe the synchronization happens on the server side. So as you can see here, get the local issues, the updated issues and deleted ones, and then it synchronizes them on the server side. Just remember that for now. Uh, next, what I will do is using the entities, I'll create these screens. So if you've seen the other videos, it just takes a drag and drop to create these, the, these screens, listing in detail. But in this case, I'm going to drag and drop the local storage. So the local storage, if you notice the entity has added a couple more attributes here to make sure that you are able to uh, manage the area locally uh, in, and, and see which ones are from servers and some attributes to manage that part. But the rest of it's still same. So inside, if you go, you have these other attributes from database. Let me just get rid of them. And the other ones that are coming from the server side. Likewise, on the client, uh, on the detail page as well, those attributes are there. Let me get rid of them. In this video, we're not going to use them. But if you go and explore the logic of saving this issue, you will see that the only difference here compared to server side is using the create, read, update, delete operations from the local storage. Okay, so local, cool. rest of the things are same. Now with this, we should be able to save the data locally. What I'm going to do next is create the manual button of synchronization. This read rate, I'm not using the uh, offline synchronizations. I'm going to create a manual button to synchronize uh, uh, with click of a button. So for that, let me add a button here. Maybe put it in a container so it's more centered. I'll call it sync. So whenever this button is clicked, we'll synchronize the data from local to the server. So logic goes here. The function that you need to use here is trigger offline data sync. Okay, use this one for triggering. The second thing is 
this function will trigger the offline data sync so you better make sure that inside is configured properly as of now by default if you see it's synchronizing the server data side this function the server action is also available here and it's using the uh, the other way of synchronization from server to the uh, local storage in my case i want to get rid of this server data sync and i want to synchronize local issue which is the other way get the local issues and create the same issues on the server side as well and perhaps i can display a message sync started and i think it should be okay let me just review once uh, now uh, one thing how would i test it whether it's working or not so for that uh, let me create one more screen uh, blank is fine this is one this one will show the issues from the server server issues okay i'll give the title server side issues and display the list of issues coming from this server table there you go uh, to be able to browse to this server page i also need to update the link in the menu and there you go so let's publish almost there so the app is ready let's launch it to test it out that's the issue listing page I'm going to create a new issue and this is from the local so let me pick up a picture of an accident maybe it happened just today and description let me just put too bad and save it so as you can see the issue is created here if i were to go at this moment on the server page server side issues i don't see any issue there because the sync has not started yet so for that i'll go back to my local issues and click on the button that i created for triggering the synchronizations when i once i click on this the sync is started and if i now go back to the server issues i see the issue there thanks for watching